up, we have Maggie Nichols here for the Sooners. So we have a 10-0 here. Huge. Wow. In the ways that she uh, works with the girls and coaches them, and, and not just um, with their training techniques, but the full picture. I mean, one thing, you know, she loves the fact that when they love doing their sport again, and especially for a gymnast, uh, you know, Meg, Meg had to deal with disappointment of not making the Olympic team. And um, that's a hard, hard thing to, to get through. And she looks at coming to Oklahoma as an opportunity. And she didn't dwell in the past. She dwells in, into the future. And she's such a great role model for, for young, aspiring, not just gymnasts, but um, athletes of all, of all time. 9.975 her score at West Virginia. That's her season best to this point. One thing that I've noted that uh, coaches are talking about, the gymnasts are talking about, is Maggie's flexibility um, on balance beam. She's pulling full split, over split. She's not holding back. Wow, nice little lay on floor. And as you can see, Maggie here is doing double back dismount. Nice. Well, the stage is set, ladies and gentlemen. So if she hits, we could be witnessing a 10. We'll wait and see. We mentioned earlier that her best friend, Simone Biles, the Olympic champion, is standing on the sidelines cheering her on. this part coming up. One thing that I notice, she's not just smiling. It's not a fake smile. It's not a performance smile. It's a genuine. Like, let me share, share my talent with you. Wow. You know, that's another piece right there, Bart, that people overlook. I mean, here she is doing these Based these elements that are required, and yet they're an oversplit. They're past 180 degrees. That's what makes her different. That's the polish that shows her elite training. That's but right. My goodness. Now expect a big score. <laughs> a 10 for. <laughs> a high scoring event for them and they got to try to run that score up. Maggie Nichols, you see her score there in the semifinal, 9-3-5. The young freshman had an uncharacteristic mistake on the front salto towards the end of her routine. She has looked so flawless all year long, really unbeatable throughout the season. This series back in from the layout, step out. So soft on the landing. Here's where she had the trouble in the semifinals after this leap series. She will turn and she does her front tuck. This is where she struggled, right here, on this tough front somersault. Oh, oh she, she took it out. out. 
Tuck double back. Beautiful job. Light lead. And she's coming after a 10 of their own, Anastasia Webb. Nichols typically is money on beam. Normally you wouldn't want this situation for yourself, the kind of pressure she must feel on beam. But this is a gymnast who can not only handle it, she embraces it. So if Maggie Nichols can get a 9975 right here, she can clinch it for the OU Sooners even before the final performance from UCLA on floor. A 9975 would clinch it. And the person who knows that is possible more than anyone in this arena is Maggie Nichols. I don't know about you, but I'm holding my breath. Mm. Excellent work. What a thriller. The Sooners had a substantial lead, three tenths, squandered a bit on floor. And now on the pressure-packed event, it's come to come down to this landing for Maggie Nichols if the Sooners will get enough. It's wow. a one-and-a-half twist. She can usually finesse these landings oh! perfectly. Anastasia Webb's score, 9-9-2-5. As we noted earlier, Maggie Nichols has scored 10, eight times, four of them on this event, the beam. One thing I love about Maggie, she never really know which routine she's gonna pull out because she has such a depth of, of uh, skills. One routine, she might throw her punch front, she might do a round of double back dismount. I mean, I've noticed, you know, this year they've decided to go with that easier dismount, but I know that they're saving her legs and ankles and everything, knees for post-competition. Even that was a little short of rotation, and yet she's so experienced. There's no bobble at all, is there? Right. I mean, you can see it all over her face. Watch this in the split, over splits. I have to admit, I miss watching that round of double tuck because she could stick it. Oh. Like I was saying, <laughs> oh, you want a front tuck this meet? Sure, I'll throw in my front tuck. <laughs> That's terrific. What and this we're going to do, you know? Okay, we'll stick with a uh -oh. 10 on every event, so it could come at any time. I don't know, Kelly. I love when gymnasts do something fun for them, you know? Yeah, I agree. And of course, Maggie Nichols anchoring this beam rotation. I mean, an excellent, excellent beam rotation. Anastasia Webb with a 9.9. .9. Just building off a 9.95 .9 from Stephanie Couture. They have been great. Okay, so here's the real question. We know what Maggie's capable of. She can score a 10. She can do a variety of routines. Let me put it that right. way. So the question is, does she throw in the front tuck today or not? So what I'm told, the front tuck is a game time decision from KJ Kindler, and if the lineup has done well, they throw it. If they haven't done well, they play it safe, let her hit her routine, but that front tuck is fun to watch. It's much more difficult than it looks. She, of course, makes it very, very easy looking. Kind of like she makes everything. Right. Yeah, this is not easy what she's doing <laughs> to everyone watching. You know what, she is having to fight through, I mean, being a gymnast, you can see that there's a tiny bit of um, things she's fighting through. Just, I mean, just a hair. Which tells me there will not the be, right, that there's not going to be a 10.0. I mean, that front tuck, she landed, adjusted, and still, st so if you're at home going, well, like my mother would say, well, she stayed. Scored a 10 earlier this season. Um, like you said, scored in every event, but we'll see what she can do tonight. Very nice. Maggie Nichols on beam. She's had multiple tens on this routine, so let's see what she can do tonight. Beautiful front aerial to split jump.
step out. Gorgeous series. Switch leap. Split jump. Gearing up for this dismount here. Off, one and a half. Stop. Maggie Nichols. Let's set up the story here now. She needs a 9-8-3-7-5 to pass Kyla Ross in the all-around. Ross competed in the earlier session. And like Evie Price, she has the difficulty in this routine. Look at all the release moves and the technique and the form. If she gets the landing, it's going to be huge. Oh, my goodness. She competes in all around, so she doesn't get much of a break. Nine, nine in a row, and that's up, sets up Maggie Nichols. And I can almost predict a stick, because this <laughs> is so... Nine in a row for the students. Watch her ability to find this landing. Clockwork. <laughs> Anastasia Webb goes 9925. Oh, what is that? I mean... Three and floor two. As she gets set for this bar team, huge opening release. Oh. Brilliant highs. Um, Pack saw up connected. However, her legs from our but we can tell that they were slightly apart. Now, a judge may not see that because they're sitting right at the side. It also looked like that last cast. She was a little conservative. She can always stick. Landing. Right. Crowd is just anticipating a stick. There 